I'm going to be poking in underneath, uh, looking in the crevices, looking underneath the undercut banks, underneath the wood with a flashlight, and then uh, and and just counting as I go upstream, as and as I move along. On our first day in the field, we watched National Park Service fisheries biologist Michael Reichmuth and fisheries intern from Duke University, Blair White, snorkel in the existing Redwood Creek Channel. They're trying to count juvenile coho salmon and steelhead trout that may be lurking in the shadows of the stream. I expect to probably see a, a hundred, maybe two hundred coho, and maybe up to three hundred uh, a steelhead, uh, juvenile steelhead in the creek. Soon, every fish and all other animals will be gently removed from this portion of Redwood Creek and given safe new homes nearby. This narrow, clogged old creek channel will be dewatered this summer, and gravel will be taken from it to line the wider and more natural creek bed that will be constructed as part of the restoration not far away. Well, really what I hope to see is the natural processes come, coming back in, the, in this area. Right now, we've managed this section of the creek to, to, to the point where it doesn't really function uh, as, as it should. Our ultimate goal for me on this is to uh, see the coho and steelhead continuing to return to Redwood Creek and so that future generations can also enjoy, uh, to enjoy these fish. Well, I guess um, short term I'm hoping that the ones that we collect today are going to be um, not very stressed out by handling them and then um, be happy with the new homes that they get translocated to. Well, this, hey guys, this is a rough skin nude. I don't know if you've looked at it, but... Meanwhile, in a nearby wetland, Park Service aquatic biologist Darren Fong and a team including staff from the National Park Service, its partner in this project, the Golden Gate National Parks Conservancy, and volunteers are finding lots of critters and moving them to safety. Did you say you had a couple newts? Or? We do actually, yeah, we got all kinds of things in here. Doing? So um, the area that you're looking at over there with all the cattails is going to have a creek going through it. Um, there are lots of things that are still living there, so we want to make sure that before the bulldozers come out that anything that's creeping and crawling that could be uh, smushed is removed and placed in a safe haven. The new and much improved Redwood Creek Channel will soon begin to take shape in this very place but not at the risk of harming any creature, great or small. We see on this very first day that everyone is devoted to protecting life in the process of restoring nature. Kind of in the long term, I think, again, we're going to be creating some really nice habitats that um, will be self-maintaining um, over the long term. And we would expect to have large numbers of frogs, newts, and fish uh, persist into the long term on their own.